Over the years, I've accumulated a ton of chargers and batteries for my power tools, and now it's time to get organized. I'm Travis, this is how I do things, and today I'll be following my plans to make this awesome charging station. And once you're done watching this video, if you decide you wanna make one for yourself, I put a link down below to my website. When I got ready to make my plans, the first thing I did was lay out all my batteries and chargers to figure out how big this thing needed to be. I wanted to hide all the wiring to make it look neat, but then I had this big area that wasn't being used. So I added an outlet to get back the outlet I lost by covering up the one on the wall. You should always plan for extra battery storage as it's likely you will buy more at some point. After figuring out all the details and CAD and making my plans, the first thing I'm going to do is cut all the pieces to length and width using my cut list and my plans. You could use 3 quarter inch plywood, but I'm going to go with regular pine boards because I just don't want to see the edges of the plywood. Oh, and by the way, wood is still crazy expensive. I have a few different width pieces in my design, but I just went with 1x6 and then cut to width in the table saw. I'm going to cut the outer frame pieces with a miter cut to hide the rabbit cut for the back and to hide the end grain. I'm going to take some frequent breaks today because it's getting hot in here. Cut on these rhinos. Once I have all my frame pieces cut to size, I'll use my table saw to cut the half inch rabbit for the plywood back. I'm just going to make a cut on the face and the edge to meet to make my rabbit. You could also use a dado set or multiple cuts. You could even use a router. This just seemed easier and faster. The rabbit is so the half inch plywood will sit flush with the frame when it's mounted to the wall. Now I'm going to cut out all the inner pieces with just straight cuts on my miter saw. So this is the outlet I'm going to use for my charging station. It's not very heavy duty, but it still allows me to use it for some things after I cover up the one that's on the wall. To install the outlet, I need to measure the outlet to figure out what size opening to make and then cut out the hole with my jigsaw. You can use whatever outlet you want here. If you can find a heavy duty outlet like this that you can plug something like a table saw into, please put a link in the comments. Otherwise, I put a link to this one down below. Now I need to figure out the correct size for the half inch plywood back. Before I can do that, I have to build up the frame using wood glue and brad nails. Be sure the frame is square and that all the rabbit cuts are on the same side. I measured the frame to figure out the dimensions and then I cut it to size on my table saw. Then I cut out an opening with my jigsaw to go over the existing outlet and to route the cords through. I put all of these dimensions in my plans. Now that all the pieces are cut out, we can start assembling. Most of my assembly will be done with wood glue and brad nails. I'm about to do two things to save myself some time and to make things a little bit easier. The first thing I'm going to suggest is that you sand all of your parts before you start assembling anything. This just makes the sanding process a lot easier. The next thing is build up any little assemblies that you can ahead of time. I'm going to build this one first because it's gonna be much easier to glue it and nail it before I assemble it into the frame. I'm going to recess the outlet plate a quarter of an inch using spacers. This is not a functional feature, I just like the way it looks. I want all the cords to be hidden as much as possible, so I'm going to drill some holes to route the plugs to the outlet. Pick a whole location that works best to route the wires for your chargers. Next I'll assemble the back into the frame with wood glue and brad nails around the edge. Now I'm going to take this assembly I made earlier and then put it inside the frame. This is where the chargers will go. It's a good idea to keep checking for square with all the pieces along the way. At the same time, I'll also add another shelf to be able to hold two rows of batteries up to three inches tall. Be careful not to put nails through the cord holes like I did. Everything's all built and assembled and now I can install the chargers and the cords. But before I do that, I want to drill some mounting holes. Because the charging station will cover an outlet, I know that I'll have a stud right here, so I'll need to put two screws here. But because I know there's not going to be a stud here, I'm going to have to use drywall anchors in these upper corners. I'll drill the holes now before the chargers are in the way. I'm going to countersink the screws to give me more thread engagement and a tidy look. To install the chargers, I'm going to use the slotted holes on the back and then add a stop to the top to make sure the charger doesn't come off the mounting screws and fall out. 
I could have used quarter inch plywood on the back, but then I wouldn't have been able to put screws in it. I'm also going to install the outlet with screws. This outlet even has USB ports. Now I just need to tuck all the wires into the back and then attach it to the wall using these two drywall anchors up here and then putting two screws into the stud. To do this, I first make sure it's level and then mark the location of the drywall anchors. Now I just install them and then mount the station to the wall. Well that is it. I went from a big pile of batteries and chargers to a simple tidy charging station. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think as well as what you might have done differently. Well on that note, I am done. Thank you for watching my entire video guys. It's super hot in here and I can't wait to get back into my air conditioned house. Please hit like and subscribe and check out one of my other awesome videos up here. See you guys.